Now, former Kaduna State Governor Nasser Erufa is back in the news and his visit to the National Secretariat of the Social Democratic Party, SDP, including a visit to the suspended Senator Abdul Ningi, has raised talks about the kite he's flying ahead of the 2027 general elections. Well, shortly after that visit to the SDP, President Tinubu's National Security Advisor, Nuhu Ribadu, also visited the former Kaduna governor's residence in Abuja on Friday. Now, Eru Five visited the suspended Bauchi Senator Abdul Ningi for the feeling speculation that he's uniting with anti Tinubu elements ahead of his uh, 2027 presidential bid. Well, for some political watchers, Erufai is on a political mission and he may well be preparing the ground for a possible move to defect to the SDP and dump the governing All Progressives Congress, especially after his uh, failure to emerge minister under the Tinubu administration. Well, to help us understand Erufai's political move, we have joining us in the studio the Vice Chairman of the Independent Media and Policy Initiative, uh, Danjuma Mohammed. He's also the former National Chairman of the Movement for the Restoration and Defense of Democracy, MRDD. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Samna. Thank yes. you. So, what do you make of Erufai's uh, uh, trajectory in the outgoing well, week? Malam, <laughs> Malam Nasir Erufai, like you did mention, a very famous political personality of. Uh, the highest order in Nigeria. And uh, also, um, you see, politicians have, for very good reasons, you know, this, this uh, uh, desire to always want to be in the news. Um, before I continue, let me quote the late Chief Obafemi Awulo. He said, uh, politics is an interesting and intriguing adventure. And the ultimate aim, or rather ultimate objective of practical politics is the attainment of power. Mm. You see, power has hydra-headed, you know, use or advantages. The first, it can be used as service for humanity, which is the idea. The second, power can be used to promote self and personal aggrandizement. Now, Madam Nasir Erufai actually was on the list of, uh, like you know, he was part of those who worked politically you know, to bring the EPC government on board. The present administration of His Excellency Pref uh, President, Bola Metinubu, quite all right. And um, uh, for very good reasons too, he was up, nominated as a minister, um, and uh, somehow, you understand the scenario in the National Assembly, and for that reason, I think his confirmation was delayed. But then later, I think he uh, kind of, out of his own you know, volition, yeah. you know, rejected the, the nomination. And even they gave, he, he had the honor of I've nominating. I've been saying that uh, he may so, not scale through, actually. Uh, uh, well, 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 there was no verdict from the other side. Yeah, there was no him, verdict, but there were talks here and there that mm. it looks like it was a trap mm. by the Tinubu administration, mm. knowing fully well that there's a likelihood his nomination may be punctured no, at was, the Senate. Yes. Uh, mm. I mean, no, they I sent in his nomination. No, no, no I, can, I, can, I can tell you authoritatively that there was no such plot from the Tinubu administration. Well, you think uh, yes. so? So yeah, why no, is he no, going I, around anti Tinubu elements no, 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 I mean, no, at the no, moment? No, 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 not for political reasons. If you look at his visit to the SDP, he said it. He said it was a personal visit. He said he visited his friend. In fact, the SDP national chairman, my former yeah, colleague she, Gabam, she actually, Gabam, yeah. exactly, you know, you know, confirmed that Erufai visited, not, he did not say not as a member. I'm putting this, I'm emphasizing. He said, as a friend, as a friend, is it not as a member? So Erufai, to the best of my knowledge, is still a card-carrying member of um, of um, the APC, you know, as it stands. And also uh, his visit to Abdul Ningi. Well, you see, people can read meanings to all this. His visit to Abdul Ningi. Um, well, <laughs> Abdul Ningi happens to be the the head before now, the, you know, the erstwhile head of the Northern Senators Forum. And Erufai, as you know, was even at the time chairman of the Northern Governors Forum. So the share, I mean, these are forums that share uh, similar ideology and, you know, guiding philosophy. So his visit there too cannot be seen outrightly as an anti Tinubu move. But you, one you thing I can so. tell you, one <laughs> thing I can tell you. <laughs> when it came Erufai, almost day after day? No, no, no. Erufai is a smart politician. I want to give it to him. 
And I want to believe that he will not, he will not for any reason, drive himself into political oblivion. I mean, I, if I have any reason to advise him, I will advise him not to quit APC. Yes, because in the first place, the party that he visited is a party that cannot really, you know, a kind of, um, what is he called, uh, project him politically. Well, Secondly, you from, so? Yes, yes, I think, um, it's not as if I think, <laughs> I mean, you just introduced me, rightly, yeah. as former national chairman of, 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 of MRDD. I mean, I was a national chairman of a political party, so I am in vantage position to kind of give such advice, because I do know that, you see, what people do, there are people we call local contestants. They put pressure on people like Erufai. Same thing they did to Obi, same thing they did to Conquest. Go and contest presidential election. You are popular. Oh, you get elected. That is not true. The whole essence is they know that they are coming from places where you are strong and popular. So they will use you as a crest to access power, to get to state assembly, to get to the House of Reps, to get to Senate. And you will never get to the presidency. Obi never won election, but many won into House of State Assembly, House of Reps, House, Senate, even Governor, all on the crest of his own popularity within those domains. Same to Pongposo. So if Erufai decides to, to a kind of ditch APC now, which is going to be a wrong move, I mean, he will, I can give it to you, I can guarantee you, he will go into political oblivion. Well, that's what we thought of Obi until uh, he was able to revive uh, Labour Party. That's the same thing we thought of uh, uh, someone like Kwon Kwon So, and uh, I mean, until NMPC woke up from its... Uh, yes, but I, t I, just, I, I just told <laughs> yeah, you, what, I mean, is the, what, what is their fate today? They never made it to the presidency, and they couldn't have made it to the presidency. Yeah, and that doesn't mean that they can't make it to the presidency in the future. Well, certainly, I, I mean, I cannot, I, I cannot project into the future. Yeah. But all I'm trying to say is that this is the theatrix of local contestants. So if you are carried away by their luring, by their, you know, their, 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 you know, their kind of embellishment, honestly speaking, you will be deceived into oblivion. This is the truth of the matter. Because okay. these political parties, look, it will take a political party and a candidate that can really pull together the forces of democracy from all sides of Nigeria for you to make presidency. Buhari was used repeatedly before 2015, exactly. In, 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 I, 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 that was while in AMPP. Many local contestants rode on Buhari's crest, popular crest, you know, to the, the state assembly, uh, the national assembly, and even governors. And same thing in CNPPS, is it C C uh, CPC? C CPC. Same thing happened to him until he was able to find himself on a political platform like the APC that was uh, that complemented its own popularity, pulling together the forces of democracy from all across the nation to make the presidency. So that is it. So if you are not up to that level, my brother, you just uh, you are just being used unconsciously. Okay, interesting perspective. But are you aware that the APC's uh, popularity is winning across the country and people are beginning to say, look, with the hardship in the country, the economy going down every now and then, mm. despite the efforts by President Tirubu and his economic team to shore up the country's revenue base and all of that, uh, that it looks like the APC may not really be the darling of the Nigerian masses <laughs> in 2027. Yeah, yes. When you hear things like that, yes, yes. including so, uh, the economy putting holes in your pocket, exactly. how do you feel? Fine. Number one, yes, cost of, re uh, co cost of living, high, I agree. Inflation, not really desirable, I agree. But the truth of the matter is that APC is already winning. Winning in the sense that you look at the macroeconomic horizon. You see, look at what you had as influx of foreign, inflow of foreign exchange. Look at, it is at the peak today, never before in this country. Look at the Nigerian Stock Exchange, never before in this country. Look at, there are, there are even, the, 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 there is the external result. All these are telling you that the, 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 that is, that the, the, the reforms embarked upon by the president is really yielding. All we need to do is to wait and give it a little well, bit of time. When you say it never will connect. before, when you say never before, I yes. mean, could it be, I mean, you're exactly. supposing it with Buhari's government? No, yes, even, even, oh, even, yes. Because, it, I mean, yes. we've had things yes. much more better oh, no, in the under, past, under, under the PDP under, compared no, no, to the no, no, APC, no, no. All that. maybe under Buhari compared to even... No, 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 no. Even under the PDP, I will tell you why. You just asked me. 
all that was achieved under a subsidized economy, economy that was not real, economy that, that was reliant on, 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 on public intervention. We are not talking about a realistic Nigerian economy. It was no longer realistic for Nigeria to continue to intervene at that level. That was why subsidy had to go. It wasn't as if the president simply decided or decided to do that, but it was a task that the president was confronted with. He had to do that because the country can no longer subsidize. The country can no longer continue to protect its own currency. Currency had to be floated. But now the luck we have is that the president team is winning. The, the, that, is, that, is, that is the CBN um, uh, monetary uh, um, Policies policy and rates that, yeah. and, 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 and regimes are winning from all indications on the macroeconomy. And like I said, the capital budget is just about to start implementation. And look at what the president did very wonderfully, you know, placing embargo on, 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 on foreign trips by, by government officials. That in itself is tantamount to tightening you know, the hangman's news on corruption, you know, making sure that the budget will be, you know, diligently, you know, a kind of uh, uh, implemented as far as the 2024, you know, budget well, is concerned. Yeah, uh, in the midst of all this that you're talking about, yes. I mean, there is a huge allegation by no. Abdul Ningi. No, I mean, uh, I mean, he, he would have said that, that was an allegation. Abdul Ningi likes to verify his visit. No, 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 to no. actually say that mm. the allegations raised uh, that they, that there was budget padding of mm. about 3.7 trillion that is unexplained to Nigerians is true. Abdul Ningi. Uh, so could it be that Arufa is trying to take advantage of that allegation because mm. he feels there's there's some truth to it to mm. be able to fly on that way. No, there was no truth to it. Abdeningi spoke on the strength of a very weak you know, information. He was ignorant of what happened. What he presented and what he worked on, his calculations were based on partial budgets. It, it did not comprise of the other budgets. And these other budgets do not need statutorily to go to the National Assembly because they are already on the first line charge. The fellow simply, simply displayed ignorance at the plenary. I mean, he was confronted and he was given the chance to explain himself. What he brought to the plenary was just something that did not contain the all-encompassing budget. The budget remained what it was. There is nothing like padding. Yes, Abdul Ningi simply, you know, kicked the legislative canvas. I mean, he actually, he was wrong in what he did. Yeah. And, so and, and, if he was, and that was why he was honorably allowed to take a bow from, <laughs> as, a, as, a, as leader of uh, the Northern... Well, he uh, said uh, he quit. I mean, he resigned. No, it, 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 was, it was a honor done to him, <laughs> exactly. But certainly from the knowledge, the, the paucity of wisdom and knowledge. In so why is he having people like Erufai visiting him? I mean, isn't it that, for Erufai no, to actually was, tap that from was, what looks no, like uh, the growing... <laughs> anti tinubu sentiment no, there, maybe there in is the no, north no, there is so no, that he will tap into that and fly no maybe no no, no, no there is no growing anti tinubu sentiment anyway you think so certainly With all I, the no, malams and everybody no 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 no, and no, no. preaching yes, and saying that the no, crisis it's, of it's food exactly, and basic this is where the issue is. is this is where the issue is we are happy that the macro economy look tinubu inherited a nigerian economy that was even producing crude that was a little over 900,000. Today we have 1.6 million, still counting. OPEC simply recently rated Nigeria as leading crude oil you know, you know, you know, you know, pro producer in Africa. So all I'm trying to tell you is that relating this, this as cost of living will come living, down. Yeah. It will certainly come down because we have never had any time in this country when so much money came into the economy willingly willingly not by you know you know protectionism of 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 of, of, of the public system and not by loans not by uh, imf or world bank uh, uh, debt forgiveness we are talking about performance of a real nigerian economy tinubu's legacy is the legacy of an orderly financial system and you know a potentially stronger and viral Nigerian economy. Well, Nigerians are waiting to actually it's see some of the miracles in, 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 that I mean, you're talking about. In the fullest because of time. This same oh. government, the minister has been suspended, mm. including the head of an agency mm. for alleged filter, uh, you know, pilfering mm. of public funds and exactly, the humanitarian yes. affairs ministry and mm. all of that. Mm. So people are still watching and say, well, mm. I mean, where are the, where's the renewed hope you actually promised us? No, the renewed hope <laughs> is what we just have. We are having an economy that is not, look, Look at his, his policies in the areas of intervention. With what is coming in today, you are sure 
that the student loan scheme is going to be a reality. Well, the exactly. same student loan scheme has been postponed. No, no, no. No, it's not, you know, when no, it's no, no, no. You know, it's to make way for an enlargement of the laws that will cover what the, because what the president did was to further bring you know spread net to cover uh, skill, volition, acquisition, and, and and students in polytechnics and other tertiary institutions, which is a very you know humane and uh, a humane intuition by the president. But the truth of the matter is that it is one project or policy that is just right in the, in the middle of the mind of the president, and it is one project that is targeted at protecting the Nigerian youth particularly. All right. So how much a potential threat is someone like uh, Nasser Erufai to President Tinubu's re-election ambition in 2027, if that comes up? If that comes up, he is certainly not, not going to be a threat to President Tinubu, and I will tell you why. President Tinubu has, by his own reforms, set up what will be the determinant factor or benchmark for 2027. And that is his reform. It's no longer going to be a thing of sentiment. It's no longer going to be based on uh, religious or mundane issues like it was, or the personal characteristic of the contestant. No, it's going to be determined by your ability as a person to understand the working of a free economy in the setting of global economy. Exactly. It's going to be determined by what it takes of you as a candidate to instill confidence in foreign investors that can come in through either foreign direct investment or portfolio investments. And the president is winning already on this. I mean, well, any, some any people attempt, doubt what you say that no, he's winning. No, because even if you look at no, insecurity, the, the, for no, example, the, the are there. within the political front, the APC is struggling to actually, uh, you know, galvanize people in terms of, you know, how Nigerians are resenting the mm. APC in certain aspects, saying mm. that, look, the hunger is mm. just too much, the hardship, that is, that is, uh, I mean, you see every now and then people say that what I could afford mm. this, I can't mm. afford, yes. I mean, even Certainly. regular people like us, the price exactly. of petrol and exactly. all of that. So, which is making mm. his political mm. opponents mm. to want to take mm. advantage no, of, they, I mean, you would have seen they, Peter will be going around too. He's not doing uh, anything. I mean, doing not, so. The only person that can do anything here is somebody who will come to offer, to offer a better option to what the president is doing. And what and if that is person none. is a Nasser Aero 5, for example? No, he hasn't. He hasn't. I would not want to push this on him. <laughs> and I would not want to condemn him. He, has, he, he hasn't said that. And like I said, even none of those who are looking at 2027 have been able to come. In fact, the only person, I think, sorry, uh, Abubakar Atiku, Wazirin Adamawa, actually came with some kind of... Um, um, should I say postulation some time ago? Yeah, he said he's not quitting. I mean, exactly. he's and, uh, the race yeah, yeah, and nobody yeah, yeah. should but, push but, him but out. Un unfortunately, he brought, he brought an option, or rather he suggested an option that was akin to, you know, poison Charlie's when he said Nigeria should go the Argentina way. Nigeria is today far better than Argentina. And the results we are getting, these are practical results. Look at the performance. That is the hike in, you know, the, the, uh, um, mm, uh, this other, this other, I mean, the economic uh, indices. This one we're using measuring, measuring the, econ the economic indices. It's gone, it's gone in my memory. Oh, but, okay. but, but what I want to tell you is that um, uh, gross domestic product, okay, GDP. GDP. Look at the uh, GDP. The GDP is promising. It's never been so under an unsubsidized economy. And that is what is there for Nigeria. The president is just about to launch the harvesting of wheat that is yeah, cultivated on one, exactly 120,000 yeah. hectares of land. That is quite vast. Once that is moved into the market, it will still crash, you know, the cost of food, you know, you know, you know, you know food stuff. All right. Uh, as we speak, uh, there is a um, worry refinery, Dangote refinery are very close to producing PMS in our land. Once that begins, it will save Forex. And not only that, you will have you know, the price of petroleum well, crashing. We've been hearing bringing, all of this, that they will, they will. No, and no, they are here to no yes, but NBC the indices I just mentioned, the April. indices I just mentioned are oh. glaring and they are real. I, and I, like I said, a major tea producing firm in Ghana just closed up Unilever to come to Nigeria to do business. So the, the, you, see, you, see, you see, creating the enabling environment alone gives hope. 
And well, that is what we've seen, we've seen anybody who wants to exist in Nigeria. this president in 2027 will have to contend with. So why was Nohori Badu, for example, uh, at uh, Malam Nasser Erufai's house immediately after his visit to the SDP? No, Could it not have been that he was actually dispatched as <laughs> <laughs> maybe by President Trump or, or someone, or, or maybe <coughs> by his own volition, mm. he dispatched himself mm. Uh, mm. to go to Malay Nasser mm. like like and to tell him to please stop yes. some of these moves. Mm. If you are angry with my boss, yes. don't worry, yes. we can settle things yeah, exactly. out. Is he, is what exactly is he, is he, would like no, no, Rebad have yes. been telling Malay yes. Nasser Erifai? Well, number one, I can tell you. Personally, I can attest to the fact that both men were very are very close friends. Mm -hmm. They've been friends since so passing just this. You know, Nasir even though they started quarreling at some point. Uh, yes, yes, oh, well, ex exactly. But they've been friends. But uh, well, that aside, uh, you see, uh, Nasir Erufai actually paid this personal visits here and there. But like I said, and like you are, you are insinuating now, I will say. Coming uh, on the day that he went to visit the SDP. Uh, I mean, uh, exactly. This would have, I mean, you can see the SDP national chairman there in that mm, picture. Uh, That's him with exactly. Ribadu and then exactly. you can see exactly. uh, Nasser Erufa right mm, there inside exactly. his house. Exactly. And you can see the posture. It looks mm. like uh, Ribadu is actually uh, telling him that uh, look, uh, exactly. if, if he's telling him, <laughs> if he's telling him anything, I believe it's just what I'm telling you. I'm telling you, take it from me. Erufa, I respect him. Erufa is a performer, not as a politician, mm. as a public servant. Yeah. I have not seen him as a, maver as a maverick politician. I have been in politics and I have at least some measurable level of, um, of experience to advise him. I am telling you, if he makes that mystic, he will just end up like Peter Ubi, Konkwasu and the others. You go into political oblivion. Well, there is nothing you get. Outside, I mean, he was already. So what has this got after uh, pulling that uh, very strong support for President Tinubu? Uh, I mean, while uh, the, during the campaigns, yes. in fact, including when he had to do with the Nara uh, redesign exactly, policy. Exactly. And I mean, so what has it benefited under President Tinubu? Yes, that what is exactly what, that has Tinubu done to gain his attention? That was why I started with Chief Obafemi Awolowo's dictum of his definition of politics. Erufai, if for whatever reason, because he decided at his own volition to leave, to drop his nomination as minister and left. So, if politics, maybe for because him, he thought that is for, excuse, no, 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 I mean, I mean we, cannot, <laughs> we cannot dissect that. If politics for him is for public service, which it ought to be, and that is the only way he can be seen as a statesman in this country, then why leave that opportunity and go to seek for power elsewhere? If you do that, then politics for him is for self and personal what if the APC can give him what he's looking for, and he knows that there's going to be an incumbent who APC, will seek re-election, and it's pretty APC, difficult to no, accept APC, the APC incumbent. Is a, AP, APC is a democratic party, and APC will have to go through democratic process. If he has any reason to contest elections in the APC, well, well I'm good, but APC cannot guarantee him victory, either primary or or, 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 or general elections. But if at all, you, you, the fact that you contest election, either at primary level, or at general election level, and you lose, does not mean that you should now begin to seek for a kind of a pastoring elsewhere. No, that is not. What it should be is you sustain for him, Erufai, he has an integrity to sustain. And that integrity is being in politics for his desire to serve, not to project or proclaim or acclaim himself. Well, you know that in politics, one of those things that politicians like is when everybody's lining up and accused and then, of course, following them mm. or, uh, mm. you know, commending them or, you but know, he, but, but, <laughs> but glamorizing he, you know, them but, here but, and but, there. But he, Erufai, yeah. he should know that he's gone beyond that. What well, you think so. I mean, you think so. For no. someone who went out of his way to stand to mm. challenge... Yes. Former President Buhari, exactly. when it was difficult, I mean, exactly. everybody had exactly. always thought that he's a pro him. Buhari person. But we for him to stand him. against yes. that policy mm. Mm. at the twilight of mm. Buhari, because that was national interest. Don't well, <laughs> that you was are national saying, interest. What if it was being done for personal interest, and he doesn't feel that President Tinubu has rewarded him enough? No, no I will, I will, Erufai, Erufai cannot. I will not want to see Erufai as somebody who will have done that for personal interest. Erufai did that for national interest, and the national interest then was that. What was being done was wrong. The reverse was the case. And that was the position of the president. 
himself while there is as, as somebody contesting for presidency as at that time. All right. We well, must thank you so much, Danjuma Mohamed. is the vice chairman of the Independent Media and Policy Initiative, a former national chairman of the Movement for the Restoration of the and Defense of uh, Democracy, MRDD, and uh, which was uh, formed by Gamboji Meta. Yeah, exactly. Uh, did it. <laughs> yes, exactly. the late Gamboji mm, Meta exactly. and all of that. We well, must thank you so much for your immense wealth of knowledge. I will continue to appreciate you for your sense of patriotism. Thank you. Well,